to Moscow. Today we will be showing you the various things of the Soviet arsenal. One of the things on the Eastern Front, in the Eastern Bloc countries, on the wonderful country of Czechoslovakia, the CC-82 Czechoslovakian police pistol. It is a beautiful piece, very simple, very simple to operate. Ambidextrous design allows for everyone pretty much to be able to use it. The release of the guard of the uh, magazine on either side drops down like so. Also, for taking finish to take part, you pull back, drop down from the trigger guard, pull back, and it is apart. Spring, cover, and pistol. For very simple, it is equally as easy. You place this here, this is back, and it is back. And then, place the magazine which is a 12-round capacity of the 9x18 Makarov with equally stopping power to uh, your James Bond in the West with his 3-whatever, either PPK weapon. It's very crap. Our weapons, a little bit better. Actually, a little bit better. Ours not jam like this, too. Very good pistol. Next, I'll be demonstrating the Automat Kalashnikov and its bayonet. First, I'll be showing its bayonet feature. The metal sheet comes off. It's using iron blade. Excellent for jabbing. The bayonet also comes off the barrel, like so. It has various field uses. Everything from toothpick to using back end of blade and this piece right here, it doubles over as wire cutters. Excellent for getting through the barbed wire that those nasty, nasty, nasty com capitalists like to uh, put in our way. Next, the Optimum Kalashnikov, model 1947, developed by our very own tank commander, Mikhail Kalashnikov. For disassembly of such a beautiful rifle, First one must to keep safety in mind. Remove the magazine. From then, you turn off the safe, safety and unchamber any round that may be present. That would have been a round present. Good thing we checked. It could have been disastrous. From here, there is a button on the back. You press. Often it's the metal plate. I wish you could see the wonderful, beautiful workings of the AK-47 in all its beauty and splendor. From here, one would take this off, this springy thingy, the bolt and bolt here, slide right out. From here, the gas system. One releases on this lovely thing, and if in case it does not work, you can use the back of a bullet. This gun was built with practicality in mind. I'm surprised those nasty capitalists haven't stolen it, almost like they do everything else. Off comes the gas. This allows for easy cleaning. And for clean, we've also got that in mind as well. The butt plug, if you will, goes in here, and out it comes. Inside of which, all the com cleaning components, mm -hmm. excuse me, that one would need. The cleaning rod is here, you pull on this, like so, it's giving me a hard time. I try to show off the beautiful thing and it makes fun of me. Cleaning rod, which all these pieces screw into nicely. Now you have a completely field stripped after what Kalashnikov. We can blame that on our Romanian comrades. They are the ones who made this model. It's not quite up to our specifications, but, but it they, kills do, nonetheless. they do a very good job, nonetheless, for the most part. So anyway, it is stripped down, beautiful wood furniture. This also comes in folding stock models with an underfolder from our friends in Yugoslavia. We also have one as well. And the side folders, most people in Romania like those. These things will be found all over the world and are the most practical firearm in use today. Beautiful. So now we reset that and we put it back together. First starting with the gas system again. Gas system goes in here, push this down, and it locks in place like it should. Bolt and bolt carry 
screw in, the little grooves here, and slide that forward. This goes here, in the little grooves, cover over top. Rifle is back to good shape. Reinsert, these are 30 round magazines. Like I said, they also come in various other increments from 5, 10, 20. This is 30. They come in 40 extended, 75 extended, which also includes a 75 round drum or a 100 round drum. Depending on what type of damage you're going to do and the type of assault. This is our wonderful Kalashnikov model. Model 1947. We also have model 19M and 1974, both of which are very nice as well. Next today, I'll be showing you how to use the gas filtration system that is standard issue for all Soviet troops. This is our standard issue gas mask. It comes in the various green type olive dried bags. Most of us carry it around, around the shoulders in the field. Very simple to put on. Put your hands in like this. Sometimes it's a good idea to remove all eyewear. Until the point from here, and you can burn it all for up to four hours. Now we go. Very standard, very helpful for those poisonous gas attacks of those nasty capitals, bastards, like they do to people. I can't believe the way they things they do, the horrible atrocities and war they commit. Also, another standard issue for most people, especially those going to very far east. The book of Chairman Mao Zedong, a little red book. Now, having a cultural revolution, I hear. You may want to carry this to avoid persecutions, and I'm assuming you are a Western person. You know, one of those adorable Western people from like England or all those other countries. I believe this concludes our infomercial on WKGB. I'm Boris Yenikov. Good night. We're all fair right now, right? I hope yes. So. Thank you, Comrade. So anyway, did you see that one girl? Oh man, I'm coming into the secret the, the book here, and it was she really beautiful. She had the big titties. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh.